How's it going everyone? This is Jay from Keyboard Gaming, and today I'm going to show you the best solar eclipse and moth run farming strategy for Master Mode. It doesn't matter if you've beaten Plantera already or not, because I have a good way you can still farm this event either way. The first thing you need to do is to build a base with lava pits on either side. These will protect you from most ground enemies and allows you to kill a ton of them without having to use your weapons. The only downside is that the lava will burn up the coins but you can still collect the coins by using a treasure magnet. With the lava base set up, you're going to need to craft a decent set of armor along with a good ranged weapon. I used a hollowed repeater, but an Uzi, mini shark, or another repeater will work very well too. Then, you're going to need some good ranged boosting accessories such as the magic quiver and ranger emblem. As with several of my other guides, you're going to need the black spot mount once again, and that's what you're going to be using to beat Mothron. To get the solar tablet fragments to summon the event, you need to farm them in the lizard temple, and you can do this literally as soon as you enter hard mode. I was actually very surprised to see that the temple door glitch wasn't patched in Journey's End, so I think the developers may have left that glitch in the game on purpose. Using only three wooden platforms and a hammer, you can actually walk straight through the door, place the wooden platforms on top of each other touching the door, and hammer each of them into an L shape. Then just hold the down button and walk forward and you'll walk straight through it. Once you're in, you need to destroy as many traps as you can. Loot every chest you find and look for solar fragments. Enemies also drop them, so you can farm them when you've looted all the chests. You can craft a solar tablet when you have only 8 solar tablet fragments. I recommend getting enough fragments to craft about 3 solar tablets, because it took me quite a while to get the hero swords that I wanted. To get the most possible time out of the solar tablet, Use it as soon as daytime starts at 4.30 am. It can only be spawned in the day and lasts until nightfall, so spawning one this way will give you the longest eclipse possible. When the solar eclipse starts, the lava trap will take out most of the enemies for you. You may have to watch out for reapers though, but you can trap reapers at the bottom of your base if the ceilings are high enough. The only thing you need to do now is to wait until Mothron spawns, and when it does, you immediately leave your base and start flying with the black spot. Mothron will follow you, so start shooting at it with your ranged weapon of choice. You'll reach the end of the world pretty quickly, so just fly straight up and go around him when you see the ocean biome. It won't take very long, but Mothron will die and drop some coins. If you're lucky, you'll get the broken hero sword, but most likely you'll have to beat him several times to get one. Mothron spawns a couple times every solar eclipse, so if you beat him once or die to him, you can just wait for the next one to spawn. And that's everything you need to know about farming solar eclipses and Mothron. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. And check out some of my other Terraria guides.